What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Drew Sfer from Xbox Live with another Borderlands video. Just uh, showing some updated loadout stuff for my Necromancer and a pretty sweet warrior kill because I was farming for a grenade mod, setting up for some boss fights. And I uh, want to talk a little bit about this new, uh, well it's not really that new, but this uh, B-Shield Sandhawk combo. So anyway, as you can see, I still have all the stuff I had in the previous loadout. I still carry the Thunderball Fist, the Critical, or the, the Conference Call, all that good stuff, the Fibber, the same relics and class mods and whatnot. But I've added a Practical Slow Hand and a Ferocious Kitten, both the Shock variants. Uh, these weapons are both available in the Torque DLC. Uh, I added these because I'm prepping for boss fights, which is why I'm farming. For this particular grenade mod, I'm looking for a longbow slag singularity grenade. It's a purple rarity grenade mod. So if you have one, leave a comment. We can work something out. I have like six, seven hundred different items that I'm sitting on that vary from legendary to unique blue to e tech to serif. You name it. So anyway, um, I'm sure we can offer up something in exchange. So yeah, the Ferocious Kit and the Slow Hand, they're really good weapons because they heal you off the damage they do. Um, but then I've also went and got the Sandhawk from the Pirate's Booty DLC. This is a mission reward for completing the mission whoops in the Pirate's Booty DLC. If you don't have one yet, go get one. Uh, it's really easy to farm. When you turn in the mission, if you don't get the variant you want, you just dashboard out and turn it in again, like with the clap trap upgrades in the previous Borderlands game. Um, the only variant I've seen that is more powerful than the stopping Sandhawk variant, which is this one here, is uh, the Captain Scarlet version, which I have right here. Yeah, the other one does 41, 44. This one does 45, 44. Uh, the other one also does elemental damage, which this one does not. But in, in terms of straight damage, this is the only one I've seen that is uh, better than the other one. And as far as I know, Captain Scarlet's does not come in elemental variants like the other versions do. This is obviously the shock version of the stopping Sandhawk. But uh, anyway, so before the B nerf, it used to be that if you had a B shield and a conference call, you could melt anything like instantly. Like you could just walk into Terramorphus's lair and melt him in like four or five seconds because the amp damage was being applied across every pellet of the shotgun. So they nerfed the B, cut all the stats in half, and uh, redid the math on it so that it would only apply, the, it would divide the damage across the shot rather than applying the amp damage to every pellet. Well, they uh, didn't do that with the Sandhawk. So that's why everyone's after the Sandhawk now. And uh, I actually got this grounded version of the B, which is pretty cool. It fits the shock theme. I'm doing with the Mechromancer here. But uh, anyway, the Sandhawk, when it's fired, applies, or it, it releases eight pellets for the cost of three SMG ammo. And they're like bird-shaped pellets. So it looks like a bird flying. Yeah. Which, yeah, there we go. Now you can see it. Looks like a bird flying. Every one of those pellets that hits will apply the damage from the shield. So you got eight pellets with 42,000 some odd amp damage per pellet plus the shock damage from this particular version of the Sandhawk. That's pretty insane. You can melt an enemy pretty quickly with this. Like I said, I was farming the warrior for the uh, purple grenade mod, and that's when I found this out because... I can kill him <laughs> with this setup. I mean, the warrior's not a hard boss to fight anyway, but I can kill him with this setup in about a minute, give or take. Um, so, I saw a lot of other SMG videos from after the B nerf where people were setting up an SMG of some kind with the B shield, and then they would also uh, use an SMG damage relic, which... Um, if you're gonna do that, you uh, it, it it's fine, but it just depends on how you're setting it up. Like, I mean, if you're working with a straight damage SMG like the this one here, 
then yes, absolutely, use an SMG damage relic. If you're using an elemental version, go with an elemental relic that complements that element. The reason I say that is because the math is applied differently between the two relics. So when you fire a shot from the SMG, the 30% straight damage is applied before the amp damage of the B shield. But if you use an elemental version of the gun, the amp damage of the B shield is applied before the elemental damage buff is. So you'll get the 4,100 and some change plus the uh, amp damage from the B shield plus the 3,605.9 shock per second plus the 30% shock damage buff. So it's going to be a much more massive ordeal if you do it that way. So I'm going to go toast this guy and hopefully get that grenade mod. Yeah, that wasn't the best shot. I mostly hit his uh, hard skin and not his soft spot. But still, even with a half-ass hit like that, it took about 25% of his health. So you can see what this does. I mean, if you get a clean direct hit every time, you really only need to do it to hit him three times. See, like that there. Look at that. He's got about a third of his health left, if even that. And I've only shot at him twice. Isn't that insane? I'm gonna run up here and see what I can do to him now. Oh, stupid reload. And if I wouldn't have had to reload, he'd have been done there, but anyway. So he's almost done. He has a kill animation that requires him to die up back up at the front, so I'm gonna end up clearing out his health here but I'm still going to have to shoot him one more time just because he's got to move back up to the front. But look, it's just insane damage. Look at that. That's right. Isn't that sick? You can melt just about any boss with this, and it's just crazy. I haven't been into very far into the DLC with her, only through Pirate's Booty, so I'm excited to take on Pyro Pete and the others. Let's see if he dropped this friggin' grenade mod so I can move on with my day. His loot drops have been butt lately. He used to drop so much more good loot. I think he drops better loot when you do the moonshot. Because I remember seeing him drop some really really good loot. And, oh. Ah. Sticky homing. God dang it. No, there's no one. Sticky lobbed. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Long, ah, longbow burning grenade. Need a longbow slag singularity. Come on, warrior. We did drop three purple mods. Maybe I'll try them one more time and see if I can get lucky and get the one I want. Otherwise, I'm just going to hit Hyperius. Well, anyway, that's the video. So, uh, thanks for watching.